come what may, bring it on, I'm gonna love it. Welcome to LDS Unmarried Life, a podcast for single members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who find themselves single either because they're divorced, widowed, or not yet married. And um, you can find this podcast on AnnetteTalks.com. And as you can see, we're doing something a little different today. We're also doing video. And this is fun because <laughs> Chris and I are both like, oh, see how it it's goes. video. I feel like Wayne's World. You know, they're like staring at the camera. <laughs> oh, oh, Garth. I think Garth was staring at the camera like, Anyway, um, so uh, we are going to do two episodes, and hopefully this will be on YouTube. We're filming it in two different places, and I'm now trying to figure out the best way to do it. Uh, but the idea is to put this on YouTube, and then um, also on um, just podcast form. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can see us, or if you're listening, you can just hear us. And um, if I didn't mention it, I didn't mention it before, this is also on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And AnnetteTalks.com is where you can find um, the book that Steve Smith and I wrote. And I think that's all the housekeeping. So we're doing something a little different, as you can see if you're watching. Um, so I, for one thing, I've decided that there's it's been too difficult with like the whole discussion, group discussion thing. It got kind of crazy. There were like six people and people were talking over each other. And so I decided two things. One is that I want to do um, get back to video and try and do YouTubing for people who are cool with it. And I promise it'll get a little bit easier to get used to it. I did it for 30 days straight, and it was fun. Um, so that people can see us as well as just hear us. But also, I want to try and get down to just two people. so we, That way, it's less traffic that I'm trying to control. But also, I think more content can come through. And instead of, like, six people all trying to get in there, say there's just two of us. And I may try three. Um, we'll see how that works with the camera. I don't know. If I have two cameras, like, camera one, camera two, camera one. <laughs> anyway, so um, what we're going to start with is I'm going to interview Chris for the Meet the Singles, is what I'm calling it, um, where I've done similar interviews with other people who have been on the podcast several times because I want the listeners to have an idea of, um, hi, other camera, <laughs> of who they're hearing on the podcast. And Chris, you've been on how many times now? Like A uh, total of four episodes, I think. Oh, good. So... Yeah. And um, he started out as a listener. Mm -hmm. So if there anybody, if there's anyone out there that's interested in being on the podcast, even if you're not local, I can do this over Zoom. So you can do like a Skype kind of call and then even um, um, use the video on that as well. Okay. So um, so sometime if you're down in the springs, you're like, I don't feel like I can drive. <laughs> Maybe you can try Zoom next time. Um, and so anyway, I wanted to interview Chris. And also if you're at home and... You want to be on the show, maybe not necessarily interviewed, but just do an episode like we're going to do later um, on a certain topic. If there's a topic that you really like that you want to cover, um, let me know. And if you're local, we can do it here in the studio, a.k.a. my office. Um, or um, on, yeah, we got to not Sorry. hit the table. We're trying not to hit the trying table because, spot here. yeah, it, we, we <clears throat> make the camera move. Anyway, um, this is amateur hour. <laughs> we're having fun. So we're going to do an episode later on patience. Yeah, even moving the floor. Apparently. Yeah. So maybe Jeez. that downstairs might be better next time. All right. So, but we're going to um, talk to Chris first. And so we're going to do a little interview and I'm going to move this a little bit. Okay. All right. I camera one. All right. So Chris, let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> Freshers on. Um, so you live down in the Springs. Yes. Been which, there for about seven years. All right. Which for people outside of Colorado is Colorado Springs, right? Yeah. And um, what do you do down there? So I'm a uh, home health physical therapist. So I go to people's homes and do physical therapy with them, try to get them well enough to get back into the community. So. And what kind of like um, stuff do people usually have that come to um, you? So it's a pretty wide range. Um, we'll have people that are coming out of the hospital due to various illnesses or strokes or you know, pneumonia, knee replacements, hip replacements, whatever. Um, I've had people that are younger than me from car accidents, gunshot wounds, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it's it's pretty uh, pretty wide range. Keeps me on my toes. Yeah, I so. bet. Is it pretty rewarding? Uh, it is. Yeah, I really like it. So uh, especially when people can't hardly do anything and then two months later after we're done working with them, they're up and running around pretty well, pretty close to how they were. It's a, it's a very rewarding job. Does that freak you out to think that that can happen to you? Um, no, not too much. Like now that I've been ex 
exposed to home health and know that it's an option. Yeah. Um, it takes a little bit of that pressure away. It's like, oh, well, something did happen. <laughs> there are services out there where I don't have to be stuck in a bed or, you know, in my own house forever. Yeah. So. Modern medicine's great, isn't it? It's fantastic. I also advise it's... staying out of gunshot um, yeah. situations. Yeah, one right? of those prevention is the best medicine kind of <laughs> no, things. Yeah. No gunplay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so um, and you have... Uh, I have two boys. Uh, they're 10 and 7, so lots of fun. And you have them quite a bit. Yeah, so our arrangement is they actually live with my ex-wife because she's the one that takes them to school and everything like that, but I'm free to see them whenever I'm not working. So I usually try to see them every day after work for a couple hours, and then like they hung out at my house last night, you know, had sleepover or whatever, and then oh, had to go to work so again this can... morning. So she picked them up, and I went to work and then came here. So. Cool. So they're allowed to do sleepovers with you and oh, stuff yeah. like that. That's yeah. good. It sounds like you're doing as much as you can. Yeah. So I know you even brought them here one time. Huh? I did. You may have heard them on the last <laughs> we, podcast. Yeah. If you heard any uh, weird thumping noises, they were downstairs. We were upstairs. Yeah. And they which were just episode that loud. was that? That yeah. was the. Um, uh, what was not the, first the one? opposites one. Yeah, the soulmate. One, one. Yeah, the soulmate. Yeah, and you the could opposites. hear some noises down there. It was kind yeah. of funny. Okay. So there's the kids. Yeah. Um, so what, tell us something about what you do in your free time, like hobbies. And uh, like hobbies. So uh, I like music. Uh, my mom was the conductor of a children's choir, a community children's <laughs> choir growing up. So I think I was about five when I started singing with them. So five through like 18. And then um, I dabble in guitar and ukulele as well. Don't get to play it as often as I'd like, but uh, it's I fun. I could go downstairs and grab a guitar if you uh, that would be totally up to you as a director. Um, I don't have anything prepared, and I haven't practiced in forever, so I don't. Uh, I don't know how good that would be. But it's fun. I enjoy doing it. But I can attest to the fact that you can play "Bridge Over Troubled Water" and there you sing go. that. And it did a good job. You Thanks. guys, ladies, Thanks. it's nice to have a guy sing to you, right? It can be romantic. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just like to bring people on here so I can embarrass them. All Pretty bit. much, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. So. You've been divorced for how long? Um, almost two years. Okay. A little over a year and a half, I guess. And are you so. out there like dating and stuff? Um, kind of. Like I'm open to it. Down in the springs, I haven't had, well, I guess in general, I haven't had a lot of success, but I'm trying to, you know, put myself out there and do different things and uh, try to get to meet people and things like that. So it's hard to date people when you don't know them. So Yes. I'm not very social to begin with. So, so Are you kind of an of a, introvert? Or? Um, yeah. I guess more of a loner. I do better in like small group settings than like big parties or big functions or whatever. So, yeah. so um, are there many single people down in the springs? There's a ton apparently on like the rolls <laughs> of the church and but they stuff. Don't come so, to stuff. Uh, yeah, we have a group of like six or eight. We have a mm -hmm. home evening group Monday nights that is about six to eight people. It varies which six or eight show up that week, yeah. but we're trying to. Which like, can be good. I mean, having a small group is good because you can make friends that mm -hmm. you can like bond with and hang right. with. But if you've dated everyone you're interested in dating in that group, then it's... It's like, then what? So, <laughs> branch out a little bit. Yeah. Are, are you on Planet or Mingle? or? Uh, no, I was on Mutual for a while. And after six months of like zero matches, I was like, eh, this is oh, not worth yeah. my time. Per se. Uh, by and the way, you're on. not the only one. Yeah. So anything else that I had to pay for, I'm like, I'm a little stripped for cash. I'm, yeah. It was not a good investment. No, me, I have so. not paid for any of those things yet either. Yeah. And um, just ladies, uh, I want to tell you that I have had luck on Planet recently. I am dating someone go. now that I actually been on Planet. And so it does happen. But yeah, in, in Denver Springs area, there's not a huge number if you go to utah though your mutual just yeah, blows up, up. Yeah. it does and you're like wee and then you're there for three days and then you leave and you come back you're like oh <laughs> back down to zero Going through withdrawals <laughs> yeah because i think i've matched with maybe two people on on mutual i think and uh, yeah yeah so especially when your parameters are, are pretty low cause mm -hmm. i'm assuming you don't date out of state or do you or? no not really because your boys are here, right? My boys are here. I don't really have the option to move probably for another like 10 years or something yeah. like that. So, But if a lady wanted to move to you... Sure. You know, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. That would be fine. You hear that, ladies? <laughs> so. So, um, and the reason that I found you was because you were listening to the podcast mm -hmm. and making comments, and they were actually good comments, unlike the one that well, I wanted to mention on the last <laughs> episode. It's pertinent. You guys need to go to AnnetteTalks.com. And look at some of the comments on some of the episodes and feel free to join in. But 
um, Chris was making really good ones. And I was like, hey, here's a guy with something really irrelevant to say. And he's actually listened and they're thoughtful. And so I said, hey, i got to get this guy on. Like, he's local. So here you are. Here I am. So um, you have a uh, bachelor's degree or something? Uh, I've got a bachelor's in exercise science from BYU and a doctor of physical therapy from Chapman University. Oh, as in California, Chapman? Mm, yep. I did not know. Were you living there at the time? Or? Uh, nope. Was it like it was a, a distance it was, thing? Uh, no. Uh, so, sorry. Yes. So I was graduated from BYU, was looking to get into PT school, and Chapman was very highly recommended. So... Uh, went out there for the three years for that doctoral program. So you were living in the OC. Yes, in the city of Orange. You know, yes, because I went to um, law school out there. Okay. And we would go to Chapman for the J. Ruben Clark Law Society okay. little gatherings. And so, yeah, there's this really good Cuban restaurant in Orange right next right next to Chapman. I can't remember what it's called, but they had those fried plantains. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's a little off topic. But. So, ladies, he's, um, he's thoughtful intelligent, educated, making a living. Thanks. Good dad. I, I can tell he's a good dad because he even brings his kids out here. Right. <laughs> no, I can tell. I'm a good judge of character, and that's why I'll try to only bring on people that I, I know are, you know, decent. Okay. So you're living the gospel. And all yes, that yeah. Not that I'm getting Sorry. personal. But, um, it yeah. seems to be living the gospel um, and doing a good job. And Because um, you sang at that single conference. I did. Right? That was yep. in May. For the... Uh... The talent show portion of it, yeah. And, um, yeah, that was not terribly well attended, but it was it was a fun yeah. a fun day. It was the only one I've ever been to. So, to me, it oh. was pretty well attended compared oh, to, like, okay. you know, well, just, six to eight family home evening group. It was, yes. it was way more people than that. But, yeah, because didn't you yeah. go to a luau down there that had... Uh, I did. That was, like, my first singles activity, and that was before I knew there was mid-singles and all singles. Uh-huh. So, I was expecting to meet more people my age, but there was a lot of... Septuagenarians and yeah, stuff that's kind of outside my. You're not looking for a septuagenarian. No. What about no, octogenarians? I, I'm with them all day long anyway for work. Oh, yeah. So. So what are you like? Thirty-eight. Yes. Okay, Thirty-eight. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's never easy to find people in your own age range. Yeah. It seems like. What about the YSAs? Do you poach from them? Often? Uh no. No no no. no. Uh, so the only YSAs I was in was in at BYU. Mm-hmm. And didn't love it really then either. I mean, there was more availability, but like now there's such a big age and like life experience Mm. difference. But if you found a really mature 29 year old. Maybe. Yeah. Because I've had a few ladies reach out. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, I'm trying to get involved in the single scene and and I try to get them onto it because you haven't met. I'll have to talk after. Okay. Um, There's some women I've been trying to get onto the podcast that are like 29 ish. And um, so we might have to see if we can yeah. arrange an introduction. But um, we talked about this on the age thing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. You would date a little older or a little Yeah, younger. like, so I would feel pretty comfortable with, like, five years either way. Mm-hmm. And then I think we talked about it there. It's more of how well we relate to each other. Mm-hmm. And if they have similar life experiences as me, then the age isn't as big of an issue. Uh, so... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's most of us, especially at your age. You're still pretty young that it's like you're not going to meet someone who's frail. <laughs> like I was talking to a guy who was 63 and, and that starts to become a little questionable, right. you know, like they can be healthy, but right. you start actually thinking about that. You're not going to be meeting women that you're like, oh, she might need physical therapy. <laughs> My ex-wife got a ton of free physical therapy while we were married, so you could help it wouldn't out, be right? totally out right. of the realm of possibility oh, okay. in a relationship, but... Probably not the best way to start one. No, probably not. So you don't date your patients is what you're saying? Uh, no, okay. no. We kind of frown upon that. Yeah, imagine. You're like, so, what's you doing later? I get off at five. What are you doing? You move yeah. that leg. Oh, boy. You've got... Oh, jeez. Never mind. All right. Next question. Next, Next. question. All right, okay. But, so do you do massage as part of that? Or is uh, it some. Um, not a ton. Uh, more more focused on functional stuff, being able mm-hmm. to do, um, you know, so strengthening in order to accomplish different things like being able to get up and down from your toilet and yeah. stuff like that. Things you got to be able to do at home that they don't always think about when you're in the hospital. Yeah. It's like, okay, you're not dying anymore. You can go home. So, yeah. so what, what I'm getting at is that if you were married, you could give a lady a massage, right? Oh, yeah. I could. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, if women were interested, uh, well, I was going to say men, but 
Yeah, just women. Sorry, guys. Uh, only interested in women. <laughs> if, <laughs> I say, if people wanted to contact you, but dating wise, if <laughs> edit edit out. For, if Take women, two. Here we go. Yeah, if women wanted to contact you, like for uh, getting to know you better. Um. So Facebook or Messenger. And typically. did we say your last name at the beginning? Of oh this no, week? it's Freeman, Chris Freeman in Colorado Springs. So. And so they could find you on Facebook. Yeah, not the realtor. I was told oh. like when I first moved here, there's a realtor down there. So if you're looking for a house, Chris contact Freeman. the other. Right. Chris Freeman. Right. <laughs> But if you're already in a house and you need someone doing therapy in your house, then you can contact <laughs> me. Right. Uh, anything else you want people to know about you? Um, so uh, I like to play basketball, be healthy in general. I'm not a gym rat. You can't probably tell that I don't work out a lot because you know my arms are so huge. But uh, but you're strong, uh, but I, right? Because you can massage. Prob- yeah. yeah, you're probably pretty strong. Yeah. Are you a runner? Or? Um, on the basketball court, okay. I'm not a huge fan of going out and just running for fun. Um, Running enough to get away from a wild animal or <laughs> something like that. But I only run when something's chasing me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to run a little bit more when I was married because my ex-wife would do it. So we did a couple 5Ks together, but oh, wow. it's probably been 10 years or so oh, since yeah. I did one. So, I mean, I would probably die if I tried to do a 5K So now. weekend stuff, like if you, whenever you're uh, not so watching I, the kids. Yeah, or... well, sometimes with the kids. We'll go out hiking. Mm, um, yeah. Go out trails, do stuff outside. Hey, girl, um, Colorado Springs is a good place for that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I've lived there for like seven years and haven't been anywhere. So I need to get out more <laughs> and find some of those You really guys have been places. to Garden of the Gods, though, right? We have, yeah. Garden of the Gods, um, Seven Falls. We've been. Haven't done the incline yet, though. Oh, yeah. So, I hear that's pretty intense. Yeah, that might be Yeah. like a long weekend so that I have time to recover before yeah. <laughs> going back to work. But, uh, yeah, it's fun. Try to get outside. Um, camping. We camping, went to a ward okay. camp out this past weekend. A lot of fun. My boys enjoy it, so. Hiking. Yeah. Okay, H- camping, hiking, basketball. What else? What? Uh, uh, movies. I enjoy watching movies. Uh, like at home or um, theater? Ho- or... Home is cheaper. So, yeah. yes, Netflix. I do, I'll do a lot at home. That's always good. Um, but uh, big into the MCU. I like the, the Marvel movies and everything. So, um, yeah, every once in a while, I'll go out to the, to the theater. So, if you were taking a lady out, what would, like, a typical first date be? <sighs> Uh, first date, probably not a movie, just so we yeah. have more time to talk and like you. get to know each other and stuff. Right. Um, so something, I don't know, I feel like I would have to have talked to her for a little while already to kind of know some of her interests and things like that. That way I could plan a better first date. <laughs> so he, he knows you have to do a little research beforehand. Yeah. Otherwise, right. yeah. Cause I wouldn't want to waste a lady's time taking her out, something that she hates doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a very good first impression right. if you're wanting to get to a second date. So I definitely feel like it's worth knowing well, each other a little bit first, which is kind of why I like to have the almost meeting in person in a larger group and then getting to know them kind then, of in that setting and then kind of, you know, Calling them off, from the herd. As it were, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, but if you meet her, like, uh, let's say mutual actually did, you know. Work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone on mutual. Or planet. Are you mm-hmm. doing planet at all? No. Because that's free, FYI. Okay. So you might want to think about it. Right. You can actually put like a whole profile and not just a picture and you right. know, a paragraph. And a blurb, 50 words or less. Or whatever. Right, yeah. So. I'm okay. not a big fan of mutual. I haven't had any or very, very little luck on there. Okay. But um, if you find her on Planet and or Mutual or wherever, and so you don't meet her in a group first, right. then you can just chat for a little while. Yeah, just chat for a little while and then... If we wanted to like actually chat face to face instead of chatting over a screen, then yeah, I always think up. if you're local, yeah. you get to know a little bit, and then if you're interested, just get together. Right. Like lunch is one of my favorites. Yeah. Because it's really casual, like Saturday, and you don't mm-hmm. want to like you know blow a whole lot of money or a whole lot of time. Right. Plus, if you get to lunch, and you're like, I don't like this person. <laughs> I gotta go pick up my kids. Yeah. But it's really nice meeting you. <laughs> yes. Or I've got work. I've got to get back to work or whatever. But yeah. lunch, you can. I mean, two hours. Right. Or less. You know, an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was nice drinking the soda with you. Right. <laughs> but lunch is quick. Or if, you know, on a second date, I like dinner and a short hike. Yeah. Like if you do it early enough, because you do the hike first, you talk, you talk right. a little bit, and then you go to dinner. Go refuel. And then, you know, eat. And, and then if you still like each other, you can go get dessert someplace else yeah. or something, you know. So those are good yeah. ideas. Okay. Um, so if you're lo- if you're local, this is a good guy. Or if you're in town visiting or something, 
<laughs> so what else? Anything what else? What else? Um, like, so what kind of music? Uh, I'm a pretty wide variety. So I was born very early '80s. So, but we listened to like a oldie station growing up. So I know a lot of the stuff from the <laughs> '50s and '60s. That's not, funny. Not as much in the '70s and '80s, and then a lot from the '90s and early 2000s. <laughs> so. But, when you were listening yeah. to the oldies growing up, did you know it was oldies, or did you grow up thinking that? Yeah, was I knew it was oldies. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so weird. I knew, to like... I knew it was oldies. <laughs> like, remember those really cool songs from the '90s that were like really from the '70s? <laughs> right. So, remember the Bee Gees? And I, yeah, and I'm not great with like dates and like the names of the groups. I just know the songs. Like, oh yeah, I know that song, and I'll sing it. So, and I find out later who sang it. And, <laughs> yeah, like, right. Okay. Oh, that was the Bee Gees. Yeah. And that was from so, Moldy Pro. I do know the Bee Gees. Yeah. So, well, I do like the Bee Gees. So, so, do you like dancing? or... Um, that is a tough question. I like moving to the music. Like I can't just sit still and listen to music, but I'm not a great dancer either. So but you'll I, get out there. I'm <laughs> very not his favorite thing. Persuaded to do it, yeah. <laughs> like in the house, maybe like with the kids, totally. Or the, at the church dances and stuff. Mm. Not as much. Yeah. Right. yeah. So that's not the way to get him. No, not so much. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to take me out somewhere for dancing lessons, I would be willing to learn to dance. And so you're okay cool. with structure, basically, with dancing more than just... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not great freestyle. All right. No, or whatever. Yeah. So. And um, what other kind of things should a woman know about you if she was interested? Huh. Um, so I try not to just based on my own personal experience in my own life. I try not to judge other people based on their past experiences and things. That's more important to me, what you're learning from your experiences and where you're going and what you're becoming. Things like that. Because uh, everybody's got something that they're working through. That's for so, sure. So um, someone who is supportive of me in my imperfections and <laughs> someone else that I can be supportive of them as they're trying to improve themselves as well. So Yeah. 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 I guess that's probably... The Biggest thing, not having a ton of time to think about that answer. But, yeah. <laughs> like nothing like putting you on this. Right, part, right. right. So. <laughs> but you handled it well. So oh, he's thanks. Good. He's good with uh, what do you call it, coming up with stuff on the spot. <laughs> BSing is what we typically call it. <laughs> no, I was thinking of uh, impromptu. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, like improv. Right. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. Well, everyone's got stuff. Yeah. For sure. And um, I can't remember what else I was going to say about that. So, um, anything else you want to share with the uh, audience at large? Uh, no, it's been a pleasure doing these things, though. I hope people are getting something from it. It was very helpful to me when I started listening. Uh, it was the first few episodes. You guys were basically reading the chapters of the book. And I was like, oh, man, I totally should have had this like a year ago. Oh, when yeah. I first gotten divorced and everything. Keep so, talking. Yeah, all right. Because uh, you would bring up experiences from the book. And I'd be like, yeah, I just made that mistake. Oh, dang it. I wish I would have had this before. Uh, this is the book you can find on AnnetteTalks.com. This is the one you're referring yes, to, Yes, right? it is. Dating After Divorce, an and LDS Alice. Survival Guide. It's very good. Very Same easy to read. Plug. Yeah, very easy to read. Uh, and like I said, it was very applicable to me. I was, so that's kind of what drew me into the podcast. I was like, oh, well, these people get it. So uh, I'm not, uh, not awesome. the only one floundering through this no. whole thing. So, no. yeah. So. Um, the, the book is from experience, making a lot of mistakes. Right. Oh, my card is full on my other camera. All right. Anyway, um, all right, so they can get you on Facebook mm -hmm. or um, you can always, can always shoot me, or ladies, can shoot me an email at Annette at AnnetteTalks.com and I will pass it on to Chris. Yeah. And again, this is available iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, YouTube. Hopefully this video will come out well enough that it'll be video. Um, <laughs> and iHeartRadio. And even if it's not, I'm probably still going to stick it up there just right. for kicks. Right? There you go. <laughs> Um, so go to AnnetteTalks.com or please follow on YouTube so that we can have a conversation going over there and um, make comments on AnnetteTalks.com. And, um, oh, if you really like me and you want to support me, go to Patreon.com forward slash AnnetteTalks and put your money where your mouth is. All right. And any parting comments? Nope. No. All right. Thanks for watching, <laughs> listening, however you are partaking of this. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, thanks for listening to LDS. What am I, what am I Singles. Talking? Oh, thank you. LDS Unmarried. <laughs> LDS. I'm gonna bloom where I'm planted. I won't take things for granted. Come.
what may bring it on. I'm gonna love it. 